Ever since Type-C was introduced in 2014, we've seen a lot of devices use the same Type-C plug. In fact, most of the new devices you get in the market which are chargeable use a Type-C. Along with the Type-C port on the devices, we also see that the cables have changed from Type-A to Type-C to Type-C to Type-C. But there is a problem here, and that's why this video is here. In today's video, I'm just going to show you a small thing that I noticed with the Type-C problem that we all have. So I got a couple of devices here. There is uh, a couple of fans here. This one is a cheaper one, which is about 500 bucks in the market. This one's about five times the cost made by Nuke. And all of these devices charge with Type-C. There's a plastic cover sealer over here. I have a small karaoke set, a very cheap one. And there's also a vacuum cleaner, which is Type-C and a powerful machine. Uh, I have a power bank. Let's see if that also has to come in handy. And I also have a power bank here just to do the test. I just want to show you there are two cables running out of it. So there is a type A cable, which is white in color, which I'm using just for reference. And of course, there's a type C cable. So this outputs type A as well as type C. So if you have something like, let's say this little vacuum cleaner and I want to actually charge it. So if I use the type C cable with this expensive device, so I'm just going to plug in the type C cable over here and it should show that the device is actually charging, right? So yeah, so there is some activity, which is great, but at the same time, uh, it, it will also charge with, you know, the normal type A as well. So let's see if it works, which is fine for it. But uh, at the same time, if I take something like this device here, which is basically a packet sealer, uh, it just uses heat to actually kind of uh, merge two plastics together. And this kind of device is relatively cheap in the market. And then, you know, I'm sure the circuitry inside also is going to not work with both the chargers. So let's, uh, Let's try putting, uh, you know, the normal type A charger on it. And you can see that's the red light over here. So this is actually charging, which is fine. But at the same time, if I use a type C cable, there's no light. It's the same charger, but there's no light. So, so this is the power bank, which is actually here. And if I actually insert the type A cable, it works, right? And I've noticed the same thing with, uh, let's say, let's try this one. This is a Karaoke device, it's a you know relatively cheaper one, so I'm gonna use the Type-C first. There's a red light indicator there, but it doesn't come on. Okay. But uh, if I put a Type-A cable, you can see that the LED is actually glowing. So why do you think this is happening? So Type-C, no light. So it doesn't work. Same with the mic, so this is a karaoke sets mic and I'm going to use the type C cable. I'm sorry, the type A to type C cable and I can see there's a charging light here. I mean, I'm, I'm sure you will see that. But if I use the type C cable or the type C output to charge this, there's no light. See, nothing happens. Maybe one or two devices more. So this is a relatively cheap fan, which used to run with a lithium ion battery. I made it into a direct type C fan. So if I'm using a normal type A to type C charging cable, the fan works, right? Nice. Now the same power bank, I'm going to use, let's say a type C cable, right? Type C to type C cable. No reaction, it doesn't work. Did you notice that? But if I take another fan made by Nook, a slightly expensive fan with a little more features. Oops, sorry. So if I use a type C cable over here, you'll see that it actually lights up. So there's a small little light there next to the cable. So this actually works with the type C charger and this if I use a type A as well, should kind of work, right? So it works on both. But the cheaper fan doesn't work with a type C to type C cable. 
So most of the cheaper devices do not work with a Type-C to Type-C charging cable. So you might have a Type-C charging port, which makes you happy saying that I have a Type-C charging port, but it will not work with a Type-C to Type-C charger. You will have to use a Type-A to Type-C. And that happens because of a few reasons. And this is exactly why. Well, since Type-C delivers a higher amount of power and higher voltage, it needs a negotiation circuit, which is missing in some of these cheaper devices. Whereas the Type A to Type C delivers 5 volts blindly. That's why they call it the dumb circuit. Apparently, this is what Gemini says. But the Type C to Type C needs a handshake. So unless it knows that the other device can accept a certain amount of voltage, it's not going to start transmitting power. So that's the reason you will see that the cheaper devices will not start charging till you use a normal Type A cable. Because it just doesn't have this negotiation circuit inside. So that's as simple as that. It's most likely the ports on these cheaper devices have a USB type C port for sure, but then the output at the back of these ports are just two wires. That's, you know, to drive in five volts. So that now you know, I mean, it's not going to charge because the type C cable will not transmit power to these devices without a handshake. So next time you should remember this. If you have a cheaper device, it's most likely not going to charge with a type C to type C cable you'll have to use a type A to type C cable to charge it because there is a little bit of circuitry required that's missing in the cheaper devices. So you will need to use a type A to type C cable to charge the cheaper devices in case it doesn't charge. And that's the reason why. Hope you liked the video. If you did, please hit the like button, share this video with your friends. It's quite interesting. And you know, this is one of the reasons why most of your devices may not charge with certain chargers. Thanks so much for watching Arctic. I'll see you in the next one. Do hit the subscribe button. I appreciate it. Thank you so much.